this is Carrie with Canary Quilts and this is the fourth video in our 11 Simple Whatnots Club month one. That's a lot to say. This is, I'm calling it the plus sign quilt. It is called Close Quarters and the club is still open if you want to join it and I'll put the link down below. So we've done a video where we cut and organize the fabric. We've done a video where we put the plus sign blocks together and I learned a lot doing that. So if you want to watch that video, you can see what I learned. The last video was putting these sashing units and corner units together, which go together very quickly. So this video is going to show you how to put the entire quilt together. So basically this quilt is put together, will be put together in rows. We'll put these plus sign blocks and the sashings together and make this row. Then we'll take the sashing and the corner units and piece those together to make this row and so on down till we get to the bottom of the quilt. So I am going to take you over to the machine and uh, first thing I'll show you is this row and then I will show you how to do this row and then you'll be able to do put the rest of the quilt together. So let's get to it. Let's finish this top. Okay, to piece the first row of this quilt, we're going to need three plus sign blocks and two sashing units. And the sashing units will end up in between the three blocks. So you're just going to need the blocks and you're going to need some clips or pins and your sewing machine. And I'm going to be using a scant quarter inch again. Well, you need an iron too, because we'll be ironing the seams. So let's grab a block. Let's grab a sashing unit and look at that. There's no matching seams. Didn't even think about it. Just assume there would be. So basically we're going to be, it's going to go together like this. I know it's not big enough to see. Oh, it is. Yep, it is. So we're going to sew these together. Awesome. No matching of the seams. No matching of the seams. So let's match edges. And that looks pretty good, so I will just pin it in place so it doesn't scoot on me and sew a scant quarter inch right there along that edge. There's my seam, and this is how we're going to iron it. We're going to press our seam, and then we will be ironing towards the sashing unit. Now we will take another block and do the same thing. We'll line it up edge to edge and sew a scant quarter inch. Pin in the middle. There we go. Okay, again, set your seam, and we are going to iron towards the sashing. Now we're going to add another sashing unit, pin end to end, and pin in the middle. So a scant quarter inch. Okay, that's our sashing seam and we are now going to iron towards that. This is our second sashing. We're going to iron towards that. And now we will add our last plus sign block. Line it up end to end. So a scant quarter inch. Hi little sunny shine. 
That was my little baby son. And here's our last sashing seam and our row will be done. And again, we're gonna iron towards the sashing. Okay, there is our first row. That's how you do the plus sign block rows. Now we're going to put together the sashing and corner unit rows. Okay, we've got our sashing row ready to go. Three sashing units and two corner units. Again, sewing towards, or uh, sewing the two corner units in between the sashing units. So I'm going to start over here, and yes, we do have some seams to match where we can butt those seams up together and nest them. And the edges are matched up, so I'm going to do a scant quarter inch for this one. Okay, so when we iron these seams, we're going to iron away from the corner units. And that's so that when we put our rows together, they'll nest right here. Okay, so next up is the next sashing unit. And again, we will nest these center seams. And if you've ever nested a seam, you can feel when it has locked right in there and it fits. And I'm going to sew a, quarter, a scant quarter inch. Again, we are going to set our seam and we're going to iron away from the corner unit. Now we're going to take our other corner unit and so I've got all these center pieces running the same way so that's what I want to do here too. Nest that center seam locked into place. And so a scant quarter inch. And again, we want to set our seam and iron away, away from that corner block. Now we have our last sashing unit. And again, match those center seams. Those went together perfect. I like that when that happens, don't you? So a scant quarter inch. Okay, there's our last seam and we are going to sew away. Whew. Okay, I got it. Away from that corner block. Those reds are pretty colors. So there we go. There's how you put together your sashing row. So I'm going to get the rest of the rows done since they're just like the last two rows I showed you and then we'll piece all the rows together. Okay, I've got my rows all sewn together here. So, I mean it's pretty obviously what we're going to do next is we're going to sew these rows together on down the line here. The only seams you're going to have to match up are right here with the sashing in the corner unit. And then you'll um, line up the edges and then everything in between. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll take you over to my table and we'll do one and then the rest of the quilt will be exactly the same. Okay, back here over at my table and I've got a sashing unit and a plus sign unit. So Here's our corner and here's our sashing and we are going to take those center seams and nest them together. 
hard to see because it is a cream seam, but that's what we're going to do. And there's three seams in that section that we are going to nest. I'm starting with the center. Then we're going to go over here to the edges. It's hard to see because they're the cream colors, but we're going to nest these edges. It's the edge of the corner unit where it meets the sashing and the edge of the sashing where it meets the plus sign block. Same thing over here. Nest and pin. Then I'm going to go over here to this corner unit and sashing unit and nest those also, just like I did before. Starting with the center and then doing the edges. And I'm nesting those seams so I can feel it. And we're going to go over and line up the edges and just start making sure it's lined up in between and I'll pin those too. And go to this edge. And I am going to sew this with a scant quarter inch, and I'll come back and show you how to iron it. So, start with your corner and sashing and match all those edges. Go to the ends and match, and then work in between and make sure it's all laying flat. Okay, there is our seam, which I'm going to set. And then we are going to iron towards the sashing. A lot of threads to pull from this one. Like I said, I'm used to working with batiks. They don't seem to have as many threads. So, that's how you put these rows together. And I'm just going to keep on going down until I finish this beautiful little top. And I'll show you the finished product. There it is our little mini quilt put together. I know you've heard me mention I love a mini quilt. It's just as difficult as a large quilt, but you get it done way faster. So there you go, that's the top. Uh, pretty simple to put together by row, matching the seams. I showed you how to do that. So yeah, you can get this put together. Uh, the next video will be putting the backing and the batting on and quilting it and binding it. I have not looked at the site they recommended for quilting this. I will um, probably follow that, whatever they, whatever they recommend to quilt it. If I don't want to, I'll figure it out. But, you know, with all the frustrations I had in the beginning with this, with the plus sign blocks, it, it, it all worked out. So... It all came out. It looks great. It's going to be a beautiful quilt. And it'll be done and hanging on my wall in no time. So hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified when I do the binding and the backing and the quilting. And I have other things going on. I've got other sew-alongs. This is month one of this sew-along. So month two will be showing up any time. I'm not even sure what month two is, but we'll find out when I get it. And uh, I'm doing a U.S. States quilt block journey if you want to follow that. So thank you very much for watching this video. 